we're going to have to figure this out. But I'm not thinking about that right now because if I was thinking about it, I would know what I'm doing. My first impression of Dan was here was a guy bringing a great deal of printmaking knowledge to bear. I thought to myself, this guy has something going on here. I mean, I honestly think he's part cheerleader and part midwife. Creative cheerleader, creative midwife. This is what's so exciting about printmaking because we don't know what it's gonna look like, right? Dan's a very exuberant, enthusiastic teacher. You know, he's infectious in his enthusiasm for what he's doing. <laughs> Dan has a way of absolutely uh, living the life of a creative individual. It's always a little bit of a risky thing when you're making prints. Is it going to work out or not? Any opportunity I had to make a print or whatever, I would look for somebody to print with, and of course, he was at the top of the list of recommendation. You know what that's called? That little thing there? Schmutz, kaka. He's just a really wonderful, loving, good human being. And that is not, that's rare. You, you can't compare Dan to anybody, I don't think. He is, that, that's what's so special about him. He's incomparable. Mm -hmm.